Hey everyone, Leo is here, another Zomstar Lightning episode. I have my friend here with me, Nathan, to talk to me about Arc Site Manager. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Leo is here, another Zomstar Lightning episode, and today a fun one with Nathan, my friend here. Nathan, you're here to talk to me about Arc Site Manager, but before we do that, who you are, what is it that you do? Yeah, hey Leo, thanks for having me on. I'm Nathan, I'm a product manager on Azure, on Azure Edge and Platform. Uh, I'm the product manager on Azure Arc Site Manager. Nathan, you know, I wanted to have this conversation with you because Site Manager is a new concept. Uh, you know, we'll talk about this a lot today. It's, you know, one of those one of those concepts that really at the beginning made me kind of ask questions about where does that fit into the story? Obviously, now I have a much better idea. And today we're here to talk about this. So as we're starting to nerd out on all this stuff, Nathan, what is Arc Site Manager? Yeah, sure. I'm happy to explain. Let me start with what the customer challenges are that we heard with on-premises fleet mm -hmm. management. Uh, first, we heard customers oftentimes have a variety of resources that they deploy to run their business apps and operations. Mm -hmm. They also are managing individual service dashboards for health updates and security uh, within Azure. That's you know with several different dashboards today. Um, sometimes it's also 3P dashboards that they're managing as well. And then lastly, customers are oftentimes uh, operating env environments across many different locations of operation and across a wide fleet with many different resource types. Mm -hmm. And so we heard these challenges from customers, and that's why we're introducing Azure Arc Site Manager. Uh, Site Manager is intended to provide central management of resources associated with the physical or logical location of a customer's edge deployment. Uh, with Site Manager, we're aiming to simplify the monitoring of connections, alerts, and update status of various Azure resources. Um, we're, in, we're hoping to enable IT administrators to apply remediations, updates, et cetera, uh, uniformly to all resources. And additionally, Site Manager provides tailored experiences uh, with Azure Monitor, Update Management Center, and more services to come. Nathan, I want to I wanna ask you a question as you are presenting this, this, this slide here. Can I think of Site Manager as a way to logically connect the business to the technical resources that I have or the infrastructure resources that I, do, that I have? Yes, yes, that's a great way to think about it. Uh, oftentimes, oftentimes, customers are managing uh, physical environments with many different resource types. And Site Manager is a tool, um, particularly for IT administrators, but really for anyone in the company, uh, to see how those resources are performing, servers, Kubernetes clusters, HCI machines, assets, uh, so mm. on, uh, within Azure and within Arc, uh, using the variety of tools that we have with Update Management Center, Monitor, and uh, you know, yeah. more services to come. And now moving on to the architecture for Site Manager. Um, you know, really wanted to show like what it would look like if you were managing uh, an on-premises environment uh, using mm. Azure Arc Site Manager. Uh, so first, what we heard, uh, you know, customers are oftentimes managing across many different sites. And so in this uh, in this diagram, we have a few different physical sites. Um, you know, some customers just have servers. Uh, some customers have HCI clusters, servers, and Kubernetes. Some customers have assets as well from Azure IoT operations. Uh, but really, you know, you can uh, it, it, it runs the gamut in terms of what customers have and what we can model with a uh, site manager. Um, so essentially, uh, Site Manager isn't replacing the Azure Arc control plane, ARM, all of that. Uh, it's building on top of that. Uh, so you as a customer would take your physical site, take the resources within the physical site, uh, model them within Azure uh, with the appropriate agentry and whatnot on the device uh, so that it's connected up to Azure and connected through ARM with their control plane. And then Site Manager is built on top of that. Uh, so within the portal, uh, you can go and create Azure Arc sites uh, to basically uh, model um, in Arc, in the cloud, uh, what these physical environments look like. Uh, so in the case of this physical site A, uh, or lo location A, uh, you can have Arc-enabled servers, uh, Arc-enabled Azure Stack HCI, as well as um, Azure IoT operations assets, uh, which all show within uh, Arc site A. Uh, additionally, mm -hmm. you can go and do the same for Arc site B and Arc site N. And really the idea is that you can create uh, these basically uh, representations of the physical environment uh, within Azure Arc. And then uh, with Site Manager, Site Manager uh, pulls in uh, Azure Monitor, Azure Update Management, uh, Azure Update Manager, and other services uh, to build uh, basically cool UI views where you can see uh, how how these sites are performing and what mm -hmm. potential resources in those sites uh, need remediation or need attention. Got it. So before, and I know that you have a cool demo to show me here, Nathan. Um, 
you know, the, the thing that I find very interesting with this concept of, of sites, right, is that when we started with the Azure Arc, it was basically resources that, you know, that you onboard, right, to Azure, whether servers or Kubernetes clusters. And then later on, you know, we also added IoT operations and, and HCI and a bunch more. But it was always resources that are just like, quote, unquote, floating in space, right? You put those in resource groups, and that was your structure, basically. Um, and I do want to talk to you about resource group here in a second, but we, it was basically just resources that are floating in space. Now with sites, based on what you're telling me, is that I can take all these resources and also Azure resources, right, and group them together in a construct that is a bit more oriented towards my business and not just something that I look from a technical end angle, which is the resource group, right? Yep, yep, that's exactly true. Um, so if you're a customer, you can have uh, restaurants, stores, factories. You really, you can really, you know, run the gamut in terms of what those physical sites are, and you can represent them uh, within Azure using Site Manager in the way that you want uh, to represent mm -hmm. these resources. I'm loving it. Show me, show me, show me the magic. I know that you have a cool demo for me. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, so let's get started. So in this demo environment, uh, the, we're in Site Manager. Site Manager can be found within the Azure Arc portal. Um, as mm -hmm. you can see, I'm within Azure Arc. Uh, Site Manager is here within the table of contents. Uh, you can also find Site Manager by searching uh, within the Azure portal. And uh, here it is, Site Manager Azure Arc. Um, so to get things started, um, I'll start with the get started screen. Uh, let's say we don't have any sites created. Uh, we can go in and create an Arc site uh, for the first time. Uh, when you create this Arc site, uh, you can set the scope as subscription or resource group. Uh, for this example, I'll go with resource group. Um, I'll give it a, 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 a site name first. So let's say uh, Jumpstart Demo. Uh, display name, this would show within the portal. Um, I'll go with you know, Jumpstart Demo, maybe with some capitalization and spaces here. Um, pick the subscription as well as the resource group uh, to put the site in. Um, so let me go with this one for the example. And then you can go and create an address to, uh, to be, uh, where, the, where, where you can uh, basically uh, assign the physical address for this site. Um, with, you can uh, specify whatever level of detail you want uh, from contact information down to uh, the specific address. Um, all, we, all we require is that you have a, a country associated with the address. Um, once that's created, uh, you can basically go in and then hit review and create and then create, create the site. Uh, for the purposes of today's demo, I won't go in and go through the whole process of creating the site, uh, but it's super simple. And, uh, and then in this demo, uh, basically, we, we've already gone in and created 10 sites. Uh, to model a you know an example customer environment, you know customer who's in this case operating probably near like a production setup where they have uh, multiple sites that they're managing and basically looking to quickly see uh, which sites need attention. And so uh, the customer can start here uh, within the overview blade. Uh, they can see the total number of sites as well as how each site is performing across connection alerts and updates. Um, as you can see, not everything is green. Uh, you know, we, we may we may or may not have gone in and simulated some uh, <laughs> some example cases here. Um, but digging one layer deeper, um, you can see uh, the site list view. Uh, additionally, you can see the uh, the sites. We have our adaptive cloud demo environment along with uh, some cities where these sites are operating. Um, again, you can see the connection status, alerts, and updates. Uh, the site basically takes. Uh, whatever, if everything is green within the site, then the site turns green. If there are some resources that need attention or have a warning or an update available, uh, then the site will show that um, as, as necessary. Uh, let's start with the connect with, with connection status. So most mm -hmm. of our sites are green ex or connected except the San Diego site. So let me go dig into the San Diego site and see what's going on. Uh, first, pretty cool thing, you can uh, see what resources make up the San Diego site. Uh, in this case, San Diego site is uh, purely a VM site. And you can see that most of our VMs are actually like uh, connected, except this one VM, the uh, Leg Legacy Grocery ERP VM. Uh, I can click into here uh, to see what's going on. So let's click in. Uh, with this VM, we actually uh, simulated uh, an example scenario where the VM was stopped. And so that's why the VM is showing as uh, not connected. Uh, that can be seen here within the status. And so uh, if I were the IT administrator here, I would probably check in to see why why the operations were stopped, and then if anything, uh, you know, restart and get the VM back and running so that this site can be uh, back to connected. Uh, so that's the San Diego site. Let's zoom out a little bit more and see what's going on with our other sites. 
Um, a lot of them have update available, uh, but let's go into first the alerts. Uh, so alerts, as, as I had talked about earlier, uh, you know, closely integrated with other services and uh, alerts is the same way. Um, alerts is built off of Azure Monitor alerts. And so uh, within this site, this site's a little bit different. In this site, we have Azure Stack HCI uh, and Arc enabled machines. And so all of our Arc enabled machines are good, but it looks like the Azure Stack HCI uh, cluster has an alert on it. Uh, so let's go click in and see what's going on here. Uh, so clicking into the alert, um, I can see that we have a one warning sage alert and the severity level is two, interesting. And it looks like there's an issue with uh, available memory. Um, this one uh, is an alert that we created. Uh, let's see what went on. Uh, so looks like we had a threshold for available memory and this HCI cluster is uh, or actually not un under the threshold, meaning it's not, uh, doesn't, there's not enough available memory on it. And so thus an alert was triggered. And so me as the IT administrator here, or really the person who's overseeing this at the company can go in, uh, see what causes this alert and go in and basically uh, remediate the alert and see what's going on. Um, so that, so that, that's alerts. And now going to our last pillar, which is updates. Uh, so in this case, we actually have uh, several different machines that with update available uh, within the Arizona site. Uh, I'll click into one uh, for an example here. Uh, so clicking into it, um, I can see that uh, there's one pending update. Um, I'll go into the, the new Azure Update Manager view. Um, this is what it looks like. I can see one total update. I can also see what that update is. Uh, it's coming from the Azure Connected Machine Agent. Uh, meaning that that agent needs to be updated and then th hopefully uh, this server would uh, show as uh, up to date. Uh, so I'm going to go in and hit one time update and then I can uh, see this easy experience to, to go in and basically uh, get this device back and running, um, bas go through basically uh, assign what that update would be and so on. And uh, for the purpose of the demo, I won't go through the entire remediation process, but mm -hmm. as can be seen, it's a pretty easy process. Uh, you can go in and update it uh, from the portal, and hopefully uh, that would get this um, Arizona node and Arizona site uh, back to a, to a green status across the board with connection status, alerts, and updates. And so that's how we intend uh, for our customers to, to use the site manager. Uh, I'll go back to this screen uh, for now. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, the thing, Nathan, that, that I noticed as you were doing the demo is that you never left the site manager interface. Uh, you know, it was everything <coughs> was kind of happening on that on that level as you were starting to drill down. So I think that that really emphasized that construct of you have a location, right, which is the site, and then you start drilling into the assets that are part of that site. Um, yeah. One question, one question here, Nathan. I actually have two questions. The first one is that um, you can also have Azure resources and not just Arc resources as part of a site, right? Yep, yep, that, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, right now, I think the in the demo we have uh, mostly Arc resources, uh, so resources that have, you know, uh, also have a representation in Arc. Uh, but in general, yeah. yes, uh, Azure resources uh, can be modeled within Arc, or sorry, within Site Manager. Uh, today, the resources that Site Manager supports is Azure Stack HCI, Arc enabled machines, including Arc enabled servers and Arc enabled VMs, uh, mm -hmm. Arc enabled Kubernetes, which includes um, AKS Hybrid. Uh, as well as um, Azure IoT operations assets. Got it. So the second question that I have here, Nathan, and this is something that came up when we were starting to work on sites, right? What's yeah. like, how do people, how do people should think about the difference between a site and a resource group? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a great question, Lior. And and the way that I would think about it is uh, a site goes one level beyond a resource group. And so a site is uh, technically within ARM, an extension resource on top of a resource group. Um, what it is in the portal and with these UI views is uh, Site Manager is really intended to provide uh, tailored views for those customers who are operating on-premises resources and looking to manage the, uh, the, the health status of these sites, of, of essentially the resources that make up their resource group um, across connectivity alerts and updates. And so a site uh, is, one of the, is, is basically a tool that you can use on top of a resource group um, to see uh, a little bit more tailored views uh, for your specific scenario, which I think many of the customers watching this are, you know, mm -hmm. operating on-premises environments or, you know, sometimes hybrid environments across um, uh, across the adaptive cloud. Okay, I love it. So, what does the future hold, Nathan? I know that we're just getting started with with sites. Yeah. You know, that went into public preview uh, just recently. So, what's the what's the future hold for sites? 
Yep, yep, happy to talk about that. So uh, so first off, uh, dynamic site scope is one of the key things that we have uh, coming up for Site Manager. Uh, that, that includes the ability to select resources across multiple subscriptions or mm. multiple resource groups to put in a site. Um, additionally, uh, as you saw in the demo, you can define one level of hierarchy today uh, at the subscription scope, uh, but then, uh, you know, that, 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 that's essentially the hierarchy that you can define. Uh, we're looking mm -hmm. at how you can expand that to define multiple levels of hierarchy, um, whether that's like store, uh, region, country, whether that's uh, line, factory, region, country, uh, whatever mm -hmm. it is, uh, we've heard from customers the interest in defining multiple levels of site hierarchy. Uh, next, we also have more comprehensive monitoring views coming. Uh, we're looking at how we can bring in security and compliance monitoring within Site Manager, as mm -hmm. well as more remediation that can occur directly from the Site Manager UX. Um, and then lastly, we're looking at location-based capabilities and how we can tie Site a bit closer to the location. And some of the things that we're looking at is the ability to define network settings, uh, time setting, and maintenance window uh, for your site uh, for the customers who are looking for those types of scenarios. Love it, love it. A lot of a lot of good stuff. And you know, Nathan, I wanted to uh, I wanted to say thank you for uh, for joining me for this episode. You know, when I'm thinking about sites, I think that you know we really came a long way when it comes to how do we actually envision this construct of physical locations. Um, you know, Arc was always about bringing the outside world uh, into Azure, but there was always this missing part, which is how do you actually group those things together in a logical way that makes sense to your needs, to your business as a customer. And I think that this is what we, really what we're uh, what we're bringing here with uh, with sites. And I'm happy to see that we have a breadth of new things that are coming to kind of become the one stop shop when it comes to managing, you know, those locations. And, you know, so I really love that. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And thanks for having me, Lira, today. This is a uh, super fun demo, super fun conversation that we had. And uh, if you're watching this, like would love if you can give uh, Site Manager a try and let us know your thoughts. For sure. And for the Jumpstart audience, thank you so much for tuning in. More episodes are coming. Make sure to like, subscribe, and we're going to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.